to all this evening. I'm here again by Holy Innocent Church and School, which is situated along Ashford, St. Thomas. Again, I'm at Ashford, outside of the Holy Innocence Primary School. This is the Holy Innocence Primary School here, where my family from my mother's side, such as my great aunts. My first two aunts, my great aunts, my grandmother, great aunts and great uncles received their primary education. Most of them received their primary education here at Holy Innocence under Mr. Lester Vaughan, the guy who wrote the National Pledge of Barbados. Mr. Vaughan was the principal here at Holy Innocence Primary from between the 1950s and 1960s. <coughs> downhill from here would be Ashford. Downhill would be Hortwell. Hortwell is just beneath Holy Innocence, Hortwell Village just below here. And also, it will lead to Jack in the Box Gully as well, or in St. Thomas. So, Hotwell Village is just below here, and then Jack in the Box Gully. And this is the pasture and the basketball court here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. cemetery here where they bury the people now since the church cemetery the cemetery in the churchyard is filled so this is the church here in which I will get to shortly so again I'm in the center of the island and again, this is the road that will lead you to, ha lead you to Harrison Scape or uh, Ashmahogali. Harrison Scape runs out under here. That is where they said that when service is going on at the church, that the organ from the church vibrates into the cave. So uh, before, be before I go any further, this pavement was placed here between late 2013 and early 2014. Because pedestrians were walking to have to walk too close to the road so they placed the pavement here started from down here by holy innocent church and school all the way up to harrison school so this is the primary school building here now with the mural graphic on it that was done by miss june connell in 2005 depicting things in St. Thomas. You can see the school children underneath from Holy Innocence Primary. And you can see Mr. Vaughn, the guy holding the book. He was the principal here back in the 1950s and 1960s. You can see the monkeys out of Ashmo Hall Plantation. And you can see the windmill at Sturges Plantation. And all in the village and you can see the Barbados top band as well which is the one that playing the drums and the, and the donkey so this is a beautiful mural graphic here on Holy Innocence Primary School building which was done by Miss June Connell in 2005 so this used to be the girls school As I said before, this school was taught by some great teachers such as Mr. Lester Vaughan, the guy who wrote the National Pledge of Barbados back in the 1950s and 1960s. It was also taught by Mr. Rapal Dash and Miss Orsi Springer. Back in the day, in the 40s and 50s as well. So 
so this is the church cemetery here, the churchyard. So as I said before, how since scare runs all under here. That is where they said that when service is going on. Now the organ from the church where it breaks into the cave. And this is the road to Harrison's Cave here, and we're at Mahogany. Harrison's Cave is just up the road here. Harrison's Cave is a natural heritage site, a natural underwater cave. The cave was discovered by Danish speleologist Ole Sorensen and Barbadian Tony Mason. Two together dug their way through the cave back in the 19th, all in the 70s. And then on the 28th of November 1981, the cave was then opened as a public attraction by the Prime Minister of the day, Tom Adams, who was also the parliamentary representative for St. Thomas and was also the Minister of Finance. And he is the one who opened the cave. Back up towards Rachma Hall, Rachma Hall will be just up the road here. And where that lady is heading is the church cemetery. Toward the school building. So, this is the beautiful countryside here in Barbados, in the heart of Barbados. St. Thomas and St. George are the two landlocked parishes here in Barbados, best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central populace of Barbados. So, there is no sea nor coastline in these parishes. These are the parishes best referred to as. Then back up the church cemetery again. Up from here, you can get a good view into St. George as well, a bit of St. George. So this is the church cemetery now. As I would have said before, we don't have bury people in here anymore. This is the Gooding tomb, the tomb of W.T. George Gooding who was born in 1903 and died in 1977 and Mildred Gooding also born in 1903 but she died three years before her husband in 1974 and Jeffrey T. Gooding and Sheila Gooding is their two children Jeffrey T. Gooding born in 1935 and he died in 2014 and Sheila born in 1936 and died in 2023 so this is the church cemetery over here. So the only people that will get buried in here now is those people. Only people that will get buried in here are those people who, um, who have a bike grave in this cemetery, who have a bike grave, or who are long-standing members of the church, but be laid to rest here. Other than that, everybody else has to get buried on the other side of the room. So this is the grave of Charles Grave and his wife Maggie. Uh, 
and this is the grave of Margaret Williams, wife of W. W. Carrington of Richmond Hall, who died the 3rd of November 1881 at the age of 67. And to the affectionate memory of the John W. Carrington, who died the 22nd of January 1889 at the age of 53 years. The grave of Walter Philip Smith, who died June 16, 1918 at the age of 52. And his wife Elizabeth Pines Chapman, who died the 24th of October 1914 at the age of 76. Two more here, two more graves here. So all under this, these are the vaults here in the churchyard. These are like vaults. St. Thomas is also home to the Williams Vault. The Williams Vault is nearby. The Williams Vault, where the, which, is the, which carries the remains of the Williams family, is just up the road here in Rachmore Hall, in the Vault Road. Where my family from my mother's side originated from. So, yes, guys, this is the bell here in the belfry. This is the belfry here, the bell here. My great uncle, Garman Levine, used to be the bell ringer here, years ago, when he used to come to church here. As I said before, I have lots of family that are laid to rest in this churchyard, and lots of them that attend church here still, and lots of them that went to school over here at Holy Innocent Primary. The vicarage, which is now used for church social activities, since the priest no longer lives here. The last priest that lived here was Reverend Light, who served this church for 1987 to 2011, about 23, 24 years. The church bell used to be up. They took down the church bell in the early 90s. So the bell is no longer in here. The place is in here now. The church vicarage. In sacred memory of the following families William Green, John and Elizabeth Weeks, William and Walter Daniel, Lenore and Alvin Daniel, the Glasgow family, may they rest in peace. The graves of Hudson Dredd, who was the organist of Holy Innocent Church, and he was the principal at Hillary Turner Saw Primary School, which is also in this parish. He was also a relative of mine. He was buried here in 2016. Apparently, they uprooted the gravestone because his wife had to be buried here afterwards. So this is the beautiful little country church, which many people in St. Thomas are very fond of. Some more graves here. And this is the grave of Leicester St. Clair Vaughan, former principal of Holy Innocent Spermie back in the 1950s and 1960s. Lester Vaughan was born on the 9th of November 1910 and died September 3rd, September 16th, 2003, at the age of 92. So he's laid to rest here. He was the principal of Holy Innocence Primary School in the 1950s and 60s, and he was also the one who wrote the National Pledge of Barbados. The Mahan grave here. This is a brief history of Holy Innocence Church here. And this is the road here that will lead you back to Bayerns Avenue. The boys' school for Holy Innocence used to be here. This road will lead you back to Bayerns Road in Rashman Hall. It can also be referred to by many residents as the line. And the boys school used to be here which later became the vicar's club the vicar's club used to keep dances and so on in here 
So this is the beautiful rural rustic church, country church here in Barbados. Thanks for watching and have a blessed evening.